Hi, welcome to Crafted Sweetly. I'm Diana. Thanks so much for being here. In this video, I wanted to show you a special effect to add to your or embellishment to add to your book folding. I'm not going to go through the entire process of adding the strips or showing how to add the strips. I've done several videos for that and I'll uh, link them below so that way you can check them out if you're looking if you're just starting out but in this one I just wanted to show you um, something to add to your book to give it a little more dimension so I did this fold here and I'm gonna use oops so I've already done the fold in its entirety and I'm going to, I didn't glue the bottom of it yet, which I usually do to stabilize it. But um, I'm going to use this tray and you can use something else, whatever will hold your book upright. And it needs to stay in this position for a couple of hours until uh, what I'm going to add to it dries up. All right, so here is the fold, which is, um, I'll link the pattern in my Etsy shop if you're interested in doing this particular design. Um, what I like about it is that it gives dimension. Um, it has, it looks like it has a sheen to it just because of the lighting of this particular image. But I really do love this, this pattern. So I thought, well, where the dewdrops are, um, it would be really cool to make it look like there are actually dewdrops on it. So um, what I'm using is this, um, it's, it, the bottle is soft so you can squeeze it. It's called Nouveau Crystal Drops and I'll link this below as well in the description box. It dries clear so it's going to give this effect of um, dew drops basically. Um, if you are purchasing these they do come in different colors if you're interested in doing them for using this for other projects. I've used them to add embellishments to cards and it, it gives a nice effect. So, um, I mean, I have several different colors here. This one's like a gold. Um, I have a copper one and a pink one. But for this, I like that it dries clear. So I'm going to use this one. And when you squeeze this, if you've done, if you've done any kind of cake decorating, you want to form a nice bead. So you don't want to be right on top of the image itself. You want to kind of drop from the, the bottle and then gently raise so you have a domed effect. So the book should be fairly tight. You don't want it to kind of go in between the pages. Um, and we can practice on a scrap piece of paper here just so I can show you. Um, but here's, this is an other, this I'll do it on this side. So maybe I should use a colored page, so a colored scrap piece of paper here. All right, so when I'm squeezing this, I'm going to squeeze it and then let it form a bead. And while it's still attached to it, I stop squeezing it and then I pull away. And right now, I mean, it's kind of hard to see maybe, I don't know, but it's, if you look at it this way, it is dimensional, so it stays rounded on it, just like a drop of water would. So I stop squeezing and then I gently pull away. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do to the book here. I'm not going to add, there are a lot of dew drops all over it, so I don't want to go crazy with it, but I'll add some just for a little bit of effect. And then I, I do a little bit of this to it so that the um, solution itself or the paste, the dew drops themselves, it doesn't leave a string kind of hanging from it. So that's what I'm doing, that slight circle action to it. I want to get the tip, the little mounded part, keep it round. So now I'm not going to move the book. It'll take a few hours for this to dry completely. Um, so I'm not going to move anything. I'll just leave it be. OK, 
Okay, that should do it. Maybe like I'll add one more here to balance it off. Okay. So right now they just look like white dots, but then once um, once they dry, this is gonna be clear. Okay, so I will tune back in and show you um, the the finished design once the the dew drops are dry. Um, so this is a rather short video. I just wanted to show you the a special effect, or not a special effect really, but an embellishment you can add to the design. Um, so that it just adds a little bit more to it. So I'll let it set and then I'll tune back in. And now to show you what the design looks like with the water drops dry. That's kind of a funny thing. The water is dry. So anyway, this is what the uh, dew drops look like now that they have dried and they're clear. So let me see if I can zoom in a little bit on a couple of them right there. You can see the drops on there and they are completely dry so that I haven't taped the book on the bottom so it tends to close there but uh, there we go but these are dry right there it's just the same as these here you can see what they look like clear so it's it's a nice effect to add to your book if you have little water droplets that you need incorporated in your design what I love about this particular design is that it almost looks like the flowers are off the page. Um, you know, almost like a 3D effect to this as well. And it's to some degree, you know, in the shadowing to it, but um, it is a beautiful design. I hope this will inspire you to create some designs that require water drops. Um, and again, I use this Nuvo um, Crystal Drops is what it's called. The clear one obviously works great for water, but if you need to add any kind of beading where you're adding a three-dimensional effect, it, does, it is available in multiple colors as I showed you earlier right there. And I believe there are even more colors than this. Um, if you end up doing something with this, please post it in my Facebook group. Would love to see it. I have links below for all these things as well as um, the usual tools that I use for my book folding. And I will post this pattern in my Etsy shop if you decide to do it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next project.